It's Tuesday morning. The shop door is closed. But Max is here because his fancy little Toyota Corolla rental car is sitting right there. So let's go see what he's doing in there. I think he's switching blades. I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul What's all the hucklebuck? Yeah, sure ready. Yeah? Did he switch the blades on the skag? No. You texted me right when I pulled in. Yeah, you did. There's gator blades on that mower. Yeah, we never swapped them back out. Oh, perfect then. We're going to try running gators on this thing today because the grass is a little bit wet. And this thing doesn't do so well in wet grass. Not like that does. That one does really well. This one, not so much. So we're going to try running gators on this today and see what happens. We have two new properties today and one of them is not in the best shape. The other one's not so bad. So we're going to see what happens. Connor wanted to film himself mowing, so he set this camera up. We're just gonna call this amateur hour.
I trimmed out the whole place. I told you, amateur hour. You see here, was weed whack, freaking weed wagon, and the weed whacker decided to explode on me. So now we got Max putting it back together for me. And yeah, so yeah, that's it for now. Hey guys. That was a long day. Hey fellas. In walking dead stand six foot four says you ain't gonna swing with my daughter no more.
Who knows that song? I don't know this guy. <laughs> She's my cherry pie. Warren, cherry pie, baby. Okay, maybe I do know that song. See, Philly knows. That was a long day. Count them up, Max. How many we do today? What's that? What's that other song? Do you like peanut butter? Totally different genre of music. <laughs> Literally. Make sure you add up the one down there too. Yeah. One, two. We've had a long, no, sweaty not day. Not these ones. Oh yeah, that one. One, two. Oh, that's scary when I when we were at that one house when I hopped on the mower. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Not you, I hopped on the mower when he was opening the gate. 25? No, Tuesdays, because we had to uh -oh. finish Tuesday. Oh, that's right. Hold on. We're getting there. 25? o'clock 38 lawns will be knocked out why it's gonna rain tomorrow to. i was kind of going for it because we're the shizzy oh, you know because it's a family channel <laughs> we really need to change the name of the channel today it's a family channel <laughs> so i was going for it because we're the shizzy and that's why we did 38 lawns today oh yeah that too that too he says <laughs> Hey, you're all lame, thank you. Jeez Louise. That would have been something that it clipped the side of that trailer. Man, I'll tell you what. Clip side of the trailer, we'd have all brand new mowers, I'll tell you that. Yeah, but we'll be mowing tomorrow. Nah, we'll, we'll, find find some new mowers. we'll go borrow some mowers out and mow. They got plenty of them. They only have a couple guys that know how to run them anyway, so yeah. they got more than they need. We'll borrow a couple off of them. I mean, we will have to slum it and run rights all day, but some you lose some yeah customers will just have to understand that their properties are going to be subpar this week <laughs> nothing i can really do about it but anyway we knocked it out today so we're not going to sit here and talk non-stop so that's enough and we'll talk to you and get back to the shop okay bye okay so to wrap things up we decided we were going to try something new yesterday um and what we did with this v-ride 2 here we switched it back to the high lift short tail blades and we moved the baffle down. Um, I can't remember exactly which one I moved it down to. There's seven settings for that baffle. The older style only have three settings like that. V-Ride 1 only has three settings for the baffle. The new ones all have seven. So we moved it down uh, a couple notches lower and we switched the blades and this thing is throwing grass far like it used to and it handled wet grass like a champ as just as good as this one here does so turned out to be an awesome move and uh we are very pleased now that one will no longer have to stay behind when the grass is wet it will do everything we need it to do just like this bad boy right here billy's over there running down memory lane on the walker you miss your walkers, Billy? I miss my bee so much. He misses his walker bee. That hurts me so much. Alright, so you gotta choose between the V-Ride 2 and the walker bee. Which one you take it? Walker bee, all the way. <laughs> he loved that damn thing. He was on that thing non-stop. I couldn't see Every day. Day. Toward the end, after the second year, he started getting some lower back pain. Mm -hmm. And so he would switch up like halfway through the day. He'd want to jump on the V-Ride 2 for a while. And then he'd go back. And only like one lawn usually. And then he'd go right back to the Walker B. But he could mow a lot of grass fast with that thing. They had a 56 inch deck. And that thing would fly. It was pretty quick. Especially when we put the big wheel kit on. That thing cruised. It was mm -hmm. fast. And it was so simple. There was nothing to it. There was nothing to it. That was a, You push the throttle a little forward and then go like this. It was a freaking. That's how you turn it. It was a great mower, without a doubt, but it had an issue, the same issue this 56 side discharge mm -hmm. down. The, not the discharge side, but the other side, the last like five, six inches of it doesn't cut grass. Mm -hmm. The blade goes all the way to that end. I tried figuring out forever. I was all over the Walker mower forums asking everyone that had Walker bees, everyone that had that dock on different walkers, and uh, uh, only like two or three people said they never had that issue, but almost everybody I talked to agreed. They're like, yep, 
Yep, every time. Which sucked because because the deck is 56 inches, it's offset to one side. So it's weird when you first get on that machine, instead of having the deck like centered, you know what I mean, you're in center, it's offset. So it, it takes a little getting used to because it sticks over so far, which made it great. If you went slow, nice and slow, it would cut. But if you went at normal speed, just driving around, like going along flower bed and stuff, it would always leave that trail about that far out that it didn't cut. But if you're like going around stuff on like regular properties, you can like pull up to like a tree or a stop sign or something that was there and you could swing the deck in and swing it right back out and keep going. And it literally cut the amount of trimming in half. Oh, I, I can imagine. Yeah, it was awesome for that, for that aspect. It was great, but. And if you were wearing jeans going under bushes, Oh, you stick the front of that deck right up on there and back out. But, I mean, one of the best things about it, I mean, it was just, I will never, ever say another mower, and I run them all. I will never say another mower on the market will ever cut like a walker. It literally, I mean, you can grab that deck in any part of it and pick it up. Right side, left side, front, anywhere. It literally goes like that, and it'll follow the contour of the, the, contour of the ground. So there was a lot of lawns that we mowed for years that just looked smooth. And once we started running walkers, you could see hills in them because the deck followed the contour and you had a perfectly even cut every time. Like that one we just left, that backyard has them dips. Yeah. That deck, when you go, it, it would go right down in there and come right back up out of it. And you could feel it like your feet would rise up and down. It's weird riding a walker because you, your feet rise up and down yeah, when you're on it. And, uh, yeah, it's really weird. So you, um, but you, it would literally fall the contour. You get a perfectly even cut. So you got to figure when you go down through a dip with like one of these standers, when you go down through, as soon as them front caster wheels start to come up, it brings the deck with it. Uh -huh. Not a walker because it pivots right in the middle. Yeah. So you go down in and the, the mower will literally go like that and then come back up out of it and level itself back out. And... If you're mowing a lot of wet grass and your deck was cut, flip the deck right up and it hooks right here on the front. Yeah, you and flip it up, it latches on there, scrape it out real quick, drop the deck back down, keep going. It was so easy. It made it nice for that. You don't deal with belts. They're all gear driven. Yeah, yeah they're all shaft driven. And they got a couple belts in underneath them, but they're, um, yeah. they're changed on the fly belts. So every single one of them has a handle on the tension. You grab the handle. And you pull it back, pop the belt off, put the new one on, let go of the handle, and it snaps back into place. See, you don't need any tools to change the belts out. With the blade or the spindles running on gearboxes, I mean, you don't gotta worry about your deck belt stretching out. Because yeah. I'm feeling that that's what's going on with the V-Rad one, is that the deck belt is stretched out. Because I don't know if you noticed, but I noticed that it's not spinning grass far at all. One pass, and then it's yeah. up. And yeah. you look down, you can see the the deck belt flapping back and forth. Yeah, it's done that since we got it. But I don't know, that belt could be stretched out. But I did buy, I have a spare belt right over there that goes to either one of these two mowers. It's the same belt. And uh, I just haven't changed out because the V-Ride 2 had a little fray in it. So I knew that one was going to be going. But All right, tomorrow's another day. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. We're hoping it doesn't. But if it does, we're halfway through our Thursday list. And usually our Friday list, we're done by like noon, 1 o'clock. So... I'm hoping that if that's the case, we can still get done in a decent time and I can get the hell out of here Friday to go camping.